Hi, I'm Dave the Wine Merchant, here to tell you why my curated portfolio now includes this wine. Aberine's 2019 Pinot Noir from two vineyards in Oregon's Eola Amity Hills area. Note, the Floodline series is Aberine's reserve wine label. Aberine is a spin-off of Sonoma's almost explosively successful Banshee brand. Long-term fans of our curated wine portfolio will recognize Banshee from some of my prior selections. As their story goes, the Banshee crew was attending Oregon's annual Pinot Noir Fete, called the International Pinot Noir Celebration, or simply IPNC. While sitting around a campfire one night at the IPNC, their discussion turned to the similarities between the Sonoma Coast vineyards and those in Oregon. The soils, the Pacific influence, the morning fog, and the daytime sun, etc. But how, despite these similarities, the Oregon fruit was about 25% less than the California. That campfire discussion took place in 2013, and by 2016, Banshee had established a foothold in Oregon. After identifying grower partnerships and production facilities and distribution plans, Aberine was hatched. This Aberine wine was sustainably crafted by these two, Rob Fisher and Mordecai Kotler, the dynamic winemaking team for Aberine in Oregon. Their winemaking decisions for the 2017 Floodline Pinot included the inclusion of stems with 30% of the clusters. This technique, called whole cluster fermentation, instead of separating the fruit from the stems as is more commonly done, can lead to flavors of black tea and pepper spice and a telltale freshness that makes the flavors pop. And the wine was fermented using no added yeast such as we see here only the yeast existing on the skins of the grapes at the time of harvest and those living in the winery itself brought this wine to its full 14.7 percent alcohol level and as with all great pinots once this wine was fermented it was aged in oak barrels 40 percent of which were new 25 percent used and 35 percent neutral this brings notes of sweet pie spices a touch of vanilla and some woody notes and their use of once used and neutral barrels in the large percentage of the oak regimen avoids lumber dominated aromas from overpowering everything else. Thank God. To buy more of this wine, simply type this bit.ly link into your browser. Just be careful, it's case sensitive. And to see more of our wine stories, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on the next video you see in the boxes appearing on your screen right now.